Okay? Mm. So this is the bacteria that fixes nitrogen gas from the air. This is, this is the bacteria that actually converts ammonia to nitrate. Okay? Nitrate. Okay? So that's why the name is nitrifying bacteria. Okay? Uh, when uh, you want to convert this to uh, N2, okay, then you have another bacteria for that. It's called denitrifying bacteria. Okay, so this actually converts nitrate into N2. Okay, and the decomposers are bacteria that break down dead organic matter, like dead plants and animals, into ammonia. Okay, so ammonia can be also produced from like dead organic matters. Okay, through decomposers. Okay, so this is the nitrogen cycle that's existent between the plants and bacteria. Okay, um, let's look at a picture uh, for these cycles. Okay, so this is the water cycle, right? Mm. So precipitation, evaporation, and then also uh, it gets absorbed to the ground. Okay, and from the ground, actually, plants and animals interact by cellular respiration and photosynthesis. This is a nitrogen cycle, right? So if you look at the terrestrial cycling here, okay, then N2 gets fixed by nitrogen fixing bacteria, okay, fixation in root nodules. Do you see it? Okay, and then oh, this actually gets absorbed to the plants, and plants have another bacteria called nitrifying bacteria, okay? So nitrifying bacteria actually converts ammonia to nitrates, okay? So ammonification, NH4 goes to nitrification. NO2 minus 2, NO3 minus, okay? And this gets absorbed into the plant, okay? Also, if you want to convert back uh, nit nitrate into N2, then uh, you have another bacteria for it. It's called denitrifying bacteria. Um, this is like uh, the off topic, okay? This is a minor one, okay? This is a phosph um, phosphorus cycle, okay? Um, just look at it, you don't have to memorize. Uh, okay, one thing that we didn't look at is this picture, okay? This is for the ecological succession, okay? So, uh, soon after the fire, actually the landscape looks like this, okay? But for, like, uh, if the plants are intact, okay, then it goes through the secondary ecological succession. So, like, after just one year, then the community has begun to recover. Okay, so it goes through secondary ecological succession. Um, this is a picture of diatom. Okay, so we talked about diatom when we we're talking about the producers, right? So we talked about producers such as plants, diatom, phytoplankton that goes through photosynthesis. Okay, so this is like a unicellular protist, unicellular algae that actually goes through photosynthesis. Okay. Okay, the next topic is humans and the biosphere. So how humans and the biosphere interact, okay? So mostly human is actually doing harm to these kind of uh, biosphere because we're contaminating and we're using up too much resources, okay? So it results in groundwater contamination, elimination of habitats, and the loss of biodiversity, okay? So mm, one example of like our effect on uh, the biosphere is eutrophication of the lakes, okay? Eutrophication meaning like the lake uh, is becoming like less and less deeper, okay? So since the lake is being contaminated and like it produces too much like organic, dead organic matter, okay? Actually it's filling up the depth of the lakes, okay? So it's actually like um, the lake is becoming like more and more shallow, okay? So the steps are one, two, three, four, fifth line from the top. It says, first, organic material accumulates on the lake bottom and reduces the depth of the lake, right? And the second, detrivores use up oxygen as they decompose the dead organic matter, okay? So since they remove all the oxygen within the lake, all the fish or like organisms that's living in the lake is gonna die, okay? So it's it's just going to become the dead